Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Recipe for Disaster. We are getting very, very close to finishing up this game in the campaign mission area of things. Um, because after this mission, that's it. There's no more missions left, which is kind of scary in a way. But maybe in the future when they update the game, we will have more missions to do. And once they do do that, and if they do do that, I will make sure I do do that. All right. <laughs> okay. Anyways, back to where we at here. We're doing pretty well. Actually, we started off very well. We started off very strong with how we started with this or how, what, what see how the currency changed again. What the heck, man? I think that's a bug. It's a pug man or pug. <laughs> it's not a pug. It's a bug. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, I think for the first couple of days, I think what we're on day two, maybe day. I can't remember what day we're on, but we did a very strong start. Um, and I like that some people said that was a pretty good strategy that I did with getting rid of excessive stuff. Um, and then building the bathrooms, of course, and, and all that. So very, very good. <clears throat> so let's look into what we have here. As far as menu goes, we have all the different kinds of things. Now, apparently the most served dish is baby Vark. And then like the least served dish is Laka. So let's look at Laka. Laka is going to be a brown onion, king crab, rice noodle, beef sirloin, concoction honestly we're gonna remove the laka we don't need the laka do you want the laka i don't want the laka you don't want the laka so we don't need the laka get it out of here right so we'll go ahead and make sure that nobody's time is wasted with that little least served dish now you might be asking well what's the point of it why would you have it why does it matter well it doesn't really matter right it doesn't really matter but um, i'd rather have a little bit less and have you ever go to a restaurant and it's like you open up the menu and they have like literally 200 items on the menu. Not good uh, because you can't have like 200 menu, 200 items on the menu, because if you do, what's going to happen? Very simple. You're going to have a lot of things frozen, right? And things that are going to be not freshly cooked. You know, you know what I mean? Anyways, I got to do I, I got to do what I got to do here. I got to bring in an extra fridge. I think there's going to be a storage capacity. I know someone mentioned. You know who you are mentioned a uh, storage capacity potential problem that we could definitely be having and i'm going to try to nip that one in the butt here now how do i what the heck am i i'm having a hard time rotating so there we go no 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 there we go now i don't want to spend too much money obviously right uh quick look at our food storage <clears throat> right now we are ordering 88 things so if we have 160 items and we're ordering 88 things there is definitely a disaster if we only had 200 capacity now that we've increased that, we should be, ooh, we should be actually not good. 160 plus, give or take 80, that's 240. We might need another refrigerator. Okay, um, that's bad, because guess what? Do we have the money for another refrigerator? $250? We technically do, but we might dip into the uh, negatives briefly. And maybe that's all right. Maybe that's okay. Okay, so we'll dip into the negatives a little bit on open here. So now let's take a look at our food storage. We have 280. Now I know what you could be saying. You could have just made a double fridge. I know. I could have saved money by doing a double fridge, right? I could have. I could have saved myself $50. But look at me now. Yeah, so this is fine. Okay, this is this is all good. Now dry food is fine. We don't need to worry about dry food. Okay, all right. We're ready to open up. Let's send it, dude. All righty. Um, I want to bring in more tables too, and maybe during today, if we earn enough money, I will bring in one more set of tables because I feel like having another table is going to be important. Um, having two seaters, I, I believe is important as well. Maybe we do two seaters before another full four table set. Maybe that's what we do. Everybody's going to be standing around. That's fine. Just wait for a customer. How much does this cost? I wonder like how much does this cost? Furniture. What is this? A white table? Oh, this is common white table? Excuse me on that. Oh, we're going to do a booth set. We're actually going to do booth with a brick. A fancy wooden table, I guess. We'll do that. I do want to keep it spicy, right? I do. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just do the white uh, the white tables as well. doesn't really matter which direction we go, as long as it looks decent-ish and, it, and it's practical, right? Practicality. Now, if anything, I would like to move these maybe and make some room over here for the two-seaters. 
that's probably what I'll do in the future here. But one thing that we got to do today is we got to serve some people. We got to make some food. We got to make some money. So let's get that going on here. They already put their thumbs down. What the hell are you? What? Why you put your thumbs down, man? What's that all about? You don't walk into... You put your thumbs down too. Hey, stop it. Oh, your thumbs are up now. Very good. That's where it should go. Right up your... Right up there. It should go right up there. <laughs> like, why you come in and you have a thumbs down? Have you ever walked into a restaurant and be like, nope. No. Is this a two-way door? I don't even know. <laughs> is this a two-way door? It's a two-way door. <laughs> okay, is this a two-way door? I can't believe that last restaurant had whatever it had. It, I don't know. <laughs> Made no sense. So at least we have bathroom. Oh, yeah, we do want to finish up bathrooms, though, too. You are in debt. If you end the day in the red, you'll go broke. Consider selling some objects. Objects. Don't insult me, game. I will not be in red by the end of the day. Okay, I might be in red by the end of the day. We're going to have to see. Everybody just calm down. The popularity is what's going to carry us here. The fact that they got to walk across the damn restaurant just to use a bathroom, that does take a while. But there we go. There's some money. New request. What is that? Nothing I loved was on the menu. I thought they had fried haddock on the menu. Okay. Uh, we can add that. Yeah, we can do that. So l l let's see here. Fried haddock. We don't have haddock, so we're going to have to bring in haddock. Um, but we can make our own thing here. We can go fried haddock with breadcrumbs. Is that even... Uh, no. No breadcrumbs. Get, get that out of here. Let's go fried haddock with stuff that we already have in our, um, in our restaurant. So things that we already have in store. Uh, T-bone steak? No, we're not putting that together. Squid? No. Um, smoked ba bacon? No. Something easy. Salmon roe? No. Do we not have anything easy? Let's go. Fruits and vegetables. Anything, like, I would like something to go with this. Like, what do you deep fry with, with haddock? You don't deep fry anything with haddock. That's the, that's the answer to that. <laughs> I guess, put garlic in there? No, okay. Maybe just keep it simple. Just a nice deep fried haddock. And we'll go. Uh, we'll go just deep fried. Deep fried haddock. We're not even going to put garlic. Just leave it how it is. Okay, we'll, we'll just do that. We'll just do that. And it's going to be uh, cheap. It's going to be a cheap one. Now, one thing is that we're going to need to get haddock in. So there we go. We'll get haddock in. But uh, how is this? Deep fried haddock. Like, nine, $20. We'll go $20 with that. There we go. Okay, continue. Another new request, of course. Uh, boiled smoked salmon on the menu? Boiled smoked salmon. Interesting. Okay. Um, which way should we go with this one? This is deep fried. Caviar. Caviar. Maybe we go caviar and we go. Wait, we can't even boil. Yeah, we don't even have that. So never mind. Back out of that. Sorry, man. You're not going to get what you want. No boiled. We don't have a <laughs> we don't have a stove to boil anything right now. The popularity still went up, though. 30%. Uh, still making money. I do want to bring in more toilet. At least another toilet. Like, I want to fill this up all the way with toilets. But, um... At least for, like, temporary for now and maybe to the next day. One more toilet. Uh, get, like, two seaters in here. I think two seaters are pretty strong, especially when the crowd gets a little bit hustled and bustled here. Okay. I perform very poorly while cooking. F me. How is everybody's moods overall? Let's see. Let's see everybody's moods. Let's go Catherine. Catherine, we love this place. Very good. Uh, Claire. Claire, I am the most paid employee here. Great. Glenn. I love this place. Good. Love it. Okay, good. 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 Everybody's happy. Everybody's very happy with how they're working here and, and all they're paid and, and whatnot. So that's good. Popularity again went up. They finally have baked salmon roe in the menu. You're welcome. You're very, very welcome. Yeah, so having the, just the three tables here, it's not going to fly much longer. Especially with the popularity. Keep going up. East, East St. Pierre was cheap. They are generous here. 
Okay. Uh, let's try to fix that. East St. Pierre. What are we at? $36? I think we've done this before. We've already increased the price of this damn dish. We're going to go 40 then. That's our second time doing the them calling me cheap. Well, not calling me cheap, but calling the, the item cheap. Which is not a bad idea, because it's like it does give us a, a buff in the review list there. Looks like Victoria does have something here for us. Let's see what Victoria has. So we can go Victoria. We can make her a lone wolf. We'll work twice as fast if they are the only one assigned to a table or appliance. I haven't seen this one before. And this is an interesting one. And she's a cleaner. Does she clean? Is that all she does? Victoria. Dude, all right. Then she's going to be a lone wolf, I think. Yeah. If all she does is clean for us, because I think that's what we hired her for. I think we hired her just to clean. Yeah. So in that case, you're a lone wolf, girl. We'll work twice as fast now. Good, good, good. Perfect. We'll let her rest out there and all that. All right. Now, this this mission probably will be one of the longest missions of the series. I will say that. Because even some of these things that they're asking, like buy four plots of land, that's a big deal. That's a very big deal. Uh, that's going to take a while to gain all that money and all that. So, But it's a fun challenge. And I'm looking forward to it. So here we go. Full table, full house, uh, not, you know, not featuring, you know, Bob Saget, but a full house here where we need to do something about it because now we have a queuing issue. Now we can start the process right away, right? The process that we can start here very, very carefully. I got to be careful with this because if we end the day in the red, game over. So the way I'm looking at it is we have at least two or three tables here that are going to pay us no matter what. So let's go with the common table. And the reason why we're going with the common table, I don't really need to worry about how things look because the ambience is already being killed. Like we were killing it with the ambience with everything already in the store or the restaurant. So I'm going to put a table right there. And then I'm going to put a booth right there and a booth right there. And then if I can, please sneak in like something like a table vase or a napkin holder. Hell, a napkin holder is fine with me. We'll sneak that in. So now we have $66. Let's go ahead and rotate it to see how that looks. And let's go. Okay, F in the chat real quick. <laughs> we got to assign someone to that. There we go. We only have one waiter. Who's that? Tania. Wow, we only have one waiter. That's a little bit of an issue. That can be an issue. For sure. One waiter. Out of all these people, one waiter. Okay, so there we go. $48 there. Very good. Okay, very well. How, how are we doing here? I think we're doing fine. I was rude again? God, why am I rude? Why am I always rude? We have one, two, three, four. Okay, we have four tables served here. This is good. This is fantastic. Popularity is going up still. I was rude again. I was rude again, again, but this place looks amazing. I don't get it. A new request. All right, so let's see what the new request is. What? None of my favorite dishes are served here? I thought they had boiled sour cream? What the hell are you talking about? Boiled sour cream? Don't ever come back to my restaurant again. Okay. That was weird. That was weird as hell. <laughs> that was so weird. Oh, big money there. Big money on the two. Very good. Very good. I was rude. God, why am I rude? What, what am I doing? Why, why am I so rude? Like, I get it. Whatever. You might be rude. My charisma is like something, but I, I feel like I'm not serving anybody. Or sh I shouldn't be serving anybody. So why am I rude? I don't understand. Our average rating actually went down, which is weird. Uh, finances, though, we are down. We are down. But we had quite a bit of renovations here. See that? That's, yeah. $715. If $715 wasn't here, we probably would have made about $600 or so. Take a look at our dishes. Still, the most popular one is the baby bark. And East St. Pierre is doing good with the crab uh, majesto. Majesto. Still doing good. Deep fry haddock actually passed caviar. So that's, that's pretty good. All right, let's go to the next day. So if we want to buy plots of land to get that four plot land thing done, we got to at least have $400. So one, two, 
three, so three four hundred dollar plots, and then we're gonna need to spend eight hundred dollars on one of. So it's not too bad. It's not gonna be too bad, I guess. I I thought it was gonna be much worse than that, but it's not. Now, uh, what we can do is add another. Oh god, this isn't gonna be the right color. I need I need like the black one, dude. I can't re I can't remember what it looks like. The black panel one. Um. I don't know. This one? Okay, okay, that, that's the one I needed. Um, and then I need to have a door, please. Very well. And then a nice toilet. Let's put this down. <laughs> there we go, rotate it. There, all right. And then I could put a sink in, but even then, well, you know what, I'll put a sink in. Yeah, I'll put a sink in. Which one? The white one or the wood one? Like, honestly, it doesn't matter which one. I kind of like the white one, so I'm going to go with the white one. Now, one thing I'm curious about is do customers actually use the sink? Now, next time someone goes to the bathroom, I'm going to watch the bathroom. I'm going to watch them go to the bathroom. But I'm going to watch them to see if they even use the sink or if it's something there that's just to be there. You know what I mean? 37% popularity, though. We're, we're cooking it. We're doing good, baby. We're doing good. Still, one server is kind of weird to have. Uh, anybody here that likes to serve? This person likes to clean. Nope. Nobody really likes to serve, so I'm backing out of that. Anybody that wants to come to me and that wants to serve, I'll, I'll hire you on the spot. But even all this, like, this seems like so many staff members. It really does. But even with this many staff members, we are still, still turning out profits here. So I guess if it's not, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Running low on King Crab? Uh, I doubt it, but you know, it does say we are running low, but I, I think that's just wait till the ingredients come in, right? Another level up for Tania? Tanaya? Tanaya? What does Tanaya do? Wait, is Tanaya? Oh yeah, Tanaya is our server, duh. Okay. So our server, we want her to add another serving skill. So there we go. Our server is becoming better and better now. Fantastic. Lamb chops. That's coming an issue. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually get the lamb chops in. Because the St. Pierre is part of the lamb. What the heck? The pork loin, 18? Did I never fix that? Why is that so high? That's probably what's costing us freaking things there. Um, I'm going to bring in more lamb chops. And the reason why is simple. Uh, people like the East St. Pierre. Let them order the East St. Pierre. It's one of the... Oh, hey, 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 Very quick to action. Good job, Glenn. Terrific job. Very, very quick. First fire of the of, of the of the play here. First fire of the mission. Came on the deep fryer. Whoever worked the deep fryer, F that. Alright, someone want to clean that up, please. Thank you. I didn't even get to see the person that walked in there. Damn it. <laughs> Anyways, um. Why are the thumbs down, dude? Oh god, we have a big Q. Okay. Maybe the thumbs are down. So this is what I'm expecting. Thumbs are down. Because it's taking too long for them to get served, right? Which means, hey, you got to get more servers in. Yeah, you got to get more servers in. So what do we got here? Glenn, who you will never fail when cooking. Food uh, feels good to be the best. So he's our deep fryer. I'd rather him have a Mich Michelin star. Yeah, Michelin chef. There we go. Very good. Yeah, we're going to need to get another server in and obviously more tables. But right now we're kind of just slacking on the money slightly slightly okay so any of these people that come in here right any of these people do they use the sink do they use the sink at all okay <laughs> don't even use it what's the point of the sink i guess for ambience i don't know dude they don't even use the sink though but there we go another table served yeah we got to get another table in Got to get it in. That's our next investment. Our next big investment is going to be uh, seating. Yeah, look at this. This is We're just getting too popular now. 
All right, uh, Victoria. Hello, Victoria. You are an excellent cleaner. Uh, what we'll have you do is you will, when taking a break with other employees, you will make them happier. Make sure that she has that mood buff going for us. See, now that everyone's happy. Very good. We want that. Less stress for our employees, right? Less stress. But we do need a server. And I got to wait till the next uh, the next day to see if there's any any new. Uh, cream cheese is running low, really. Well, now it's fixed. But uh, the next day I got to see if there's any applicants worthy, right? Worthy of... Of serving. Did I just get a bunch of five stars there? No, a bunch of four stars there. Okay. Awesome. School bus? A school bus just arrived? Oh my god. Wait, a school bus? <laughs> I hope from a college? I don't, I don't know. Hopefully not from your local high school or your, uh, you know, middle school. Okay, so real quick. We gotta, we gotta kind of pivot, right? We gotta figure out what to do here. Like, I want to get another big one. I, I do. I do. I want to get another big one. But I don't know if I have the money. I have the money. Oh, my God. It costs like $280, $270 to make another table. That's good to know. Okay, 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 okay. Go. Let him in. Bring him in. Very good. Now, Tania, Tania, she's going to be hit hard here. She's going to be hit very hard with all these tables and serving everybody. So that just stresses, you know, it makes us more stressed out that we definitely need to get another server in fast. And I could, I, I, I could technically become a server and put my guy as a server, but let's be honest, nobody wants to see that. Nobody, nobody wants to see him tap dance. Uh, look at this line though. This is opportunity that we are missing here, unfortunately. This is opportunity that we are not going to miss out on. So I'm going to try to my best here. I'm going to try my best. So with this... Sorry, wrong button. With this, I'm going to try to get in another two-seater. Okay, cannot get to the object. What, what object? Okay, so that object. Okay, fair enough. Okay, move this. Back one. Excuse me, move it back one. No, no, no. Excuse me, move it back one. Actually, hey, move it back one. No, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Can I move that right there? Move it right there. Move it right there. Move it. You can't set those things by themselves. Okay. All right. So what we'll do is we'll go right there. There. Now they should be able to get to that, right? It is a little funky. I know. I wanted them to go back to back, but I can move this table in the future and kind of fix that. But for right now, we just need people's asses and chairs. That's it. Okay. We have a couple open seats, but this isn't going to do... Oh, it's juice. Nothing I loved was on the menu. Pink Deliche was disgusting. Okay. So the reason why these people aren't coming in is because they need a four-person table. That, you know, it is what it is. It's fine. Okay. As long as I don't finish the day in negative here. There we go. Uh, I would like Victoria to come through and maybe uh, clean up the, the uh, little bit here. We are getting a little bit dirty within. And we're getting dirty back here as well. Just make sure we keep up this cleaning, sweetheart. A lot of people, though. I'm going to stop spending money. Pink shrimp is running low. So let's go ahead and take care of that pink shrimp. Yeah. A lot of people are ordering that now. Um, I'm not going to spend any more money for the rest of the day. Because we need to keep it. We don't want to go, you know, we don't want to go broke. But this is an issue. Yeah, this is an issue. Victoria, my, my lady. Get it going, girl. We got to clean this area. Now, does the outside include this? It does not. So let's make sure that we have the outside also there. So we'll go here and expand. Kind of expand all of this area as well. There we go. Okay. That's a lot. I mean, another cleaner is not bad to have. Another server is definitely not bad to have. Level up for Haley. All right, Haley. What do you do? You are a fryer in a grill. Okay. Fast feet adds plus 10 to your speed. Or customers are willing to pay more. No, customers are willing to pay more. I'd rather have that. Yeah. There we go. Customers are willing to pay more for your food. Yes, yes, yes. I am A-OK -okay with that. Now, we're almost at 50%, right? We're almost at 50% popularity, which is good. Very, very good. Yeah, there we go. There we go. She's cleaning now. All right, thank you, Victoria. Hey! What the heck? All right, fire? Do I not have a fire extinguisher on this side of the... Oh, I don't have a fire extinguisher on this side of the freaking restaurant? That's terrible. No, 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 my man. My man, you have the fire extinguisher. Go ahead. No, 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 hey, 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 what the hell are you, that's me, 
Get your ass in there, forehead. What are you doing? Why are you running out to the customers with a fire extinguisher in your hand? Are you out of your damn mind? Breakpoint danger for Victoria? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. This is bad. This is very bad. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Everything is about to crash and burn. Okay. All right. All right. Somebody just hit their breaking point. That is Victoria. Victoria, you are the cleaning person, and you've done hit your breaking point. I get it. You're very upset. You're going to lay down on the ground and, and cry a little bit. I get it. I understand. It's hard to clean this entire place by yourself, right? And uh, honestly, we need someone to clean something. So, uh, I can't clean anything. So, that's terrible. But this person, Catherine, can. So, Catherine, what I need you to do is I actually need you to clean that object for me, please. And, uh, and then I need you to talk to... I need you to talk to her. Make sure she's okay. Hopefully, you're talking her stress out. Okay, I think that's enough talking. <laughs> I really need you to go clean this, though, for me. Yep, customer group left. I, I don't doubt it. Waited too long for their food. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you see what's going on here? Crazy stuff. So, yeah. I think it's... Uh, go rest my forehead. Um, it, it's it's pretty obvious. It's very obvious. What's going on here? It's, it's simple. Um, I reached my breaking point as well. Yeah. I, I get it. What's going on? Oh, God. Why? What was that for? So there's a few things I need to uh, invest in. I need to invest in a new cleaner. I need to invest into a new server. And I need to invest into more fire extinguishers. Because the fact that we... The restaurant's on fire. Believe me. Believe me. I know. I know. I know. Crash and burn. Crash and burn. This is bad. Can we just end the day? I would like to end the day today, please. Yes, let's end the day. Luckily, we have money, but my God, this place is on fire. Somebody grab a fire damn extinguisher. What the hell are y'all doing? Please, help me help the frick you. One right there. Somebody grab that thing now. Thank you. Everything is going up in flames as we speak. Okay, we need another one. Go. Help. Somebody grab it and help. Thank you. Help out. Oh, yeah. You know what? Just go home. That's fine. Just go home. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what the heck just happened? All right. There's a lot that needs to be taken care of here in day four. All right. So first things first. Check the staff. Anybody willing to come through and help us out? Serving is okay. Cleaning is good. Okay, I see a cleaner there. Serving he loves. He loves serving. Sean Kennedy. <laughs> Sean Kennedy. We need cleaners and we need servers. He's connected. Connected receives a discount. Very good. Uh, Ernani? He's unfriendly. I hate that. Carnivore and proactive will serve random tables if idling. This is interesting. Loves meat and gains a bonus to quality when cooking meat ingredients. That's good. Countertop is wonderful. Fryer is also wonderful. Okay. We'll hire him. He's hired. He'll be hired. Um, Sean Kennedy will also be hired. So these are two new people that are coming in disastrous place that we have going on here okay um yeah 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 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we open here this could be very bad day or this could be a very good day first things first cleaning uh sean kennedy sean kennedy wait a sec he's a server right who the heck did i just hire Brett. It was Brett, right? Yes, Brett. So, Brett. Okay, Brett. Okay, good. So, cleaning. Uh, Brett. Cleaning. Brett. And the only other thing that Brett's going to be doing other than clean 
is he will help out on the deep fryer. And then there we go. We have deep fryer is good. Now, countertop is something Brett could do as well. But Brett can do that last priority. We'll do that. Last priority, he'll do that. His first priority, or his top of the, you know, top priority, should be cleaning the restaurant. That's good. Okay, now, serving. Serving needs to be done by Sean Kennedy. And then we copy and we paste that everywhere. Sean Kennedy is our new person added to the list of servers. Now, we need, I need Brett. Where's Brett? Is this Brett? Okay, Brett, I need you, buddy, to, to help out and clean right away. Victoria's already cleaning, but I need you to clean as well. And this should... Yeah, then they're going to clean up the mops. I, I would prefer you guys to clean out the front house, but that's fine. Our popularity dipped so bad that day. <laughs> terrible, terrible day. Okay, this is fine. I think this is... I think this is going to... I think we're going to be okay. Like, honestly, I would like you to, like, clean here first. So, like, clean, clean the front house first, please. Sean Kennedy and Tanaya will work the services. Look at them. Now they're double teaming it. I like that. I love to see... Well, kind of. But at least we're cleaning the front house. Things should smooth out just fine. Sean Kennedy served me incredibly fast. Boom. Already a win. Already to win to see that. Very good. Very good. Okay. Good. Okay, let's put him away. Pick Victoria. Oh, no! You performed so poorly on the cooking. All right. So that's that's an issue. Right? That's an issue. I'm the one lighting this bitch on fire. <laughs> but we have three fire extinguishers on this thing. So that's very good. So at least we have that. Rush hour. Terrible time for rush hour. Okay. Time out. Uh, Victoria is going to be cleaning that, I think, right away. Right? Somebody clean this right away. Like, bam. Go do that. Now, uh, one thing is certain. I need to get the hell off of this thing. Or I'm going to F all of us. This. You coward. You definitely need to get off of this. John Kennedy's good. He's good at this. Brett is also good. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself off of that. I'm going to assign Brett to that. Now, Brett has a lot of jobs. He has deep frying, cleaning, and an oven. I could also sign Sean Kennedy to it as well. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have those two kind of work that. You know, whoever orders the pink deliche, that will happen. Uh, but me, get the hell off of that. Never touch that again. That's your fault. That is your fault. Okay. Fix everything up. All right. Everyone go back out. Sean Kennedy is on the uh, oven. Terrible. Because now he can't serve. Oh, damn it. We need like an oven person now. We need a dedicated oven person. Is there a dedicated oven person here? He's kind of good all around, but no. I'm not caving in. I refuse to cave in. Breakpoint warning for Victoria. I hate that. I hate that. Why? I mean, other than like... Okay, this person is angry because of her... Le okay, she's paid way less than she deserves. That's probably why she's upset, right? Let's give her what she wants. Let's give her a nice raise. That will put a mood boost on her. And that will probably like, like bring down her stress, right? Thank you. I'm getting paid very well. I'm happy about it, right? Good stuff. Uh, what just happened? Haley performed been terrible. All right, all right. Break point for Haley. Uh, Haley, where are you? Haley, are you doing the same thing? Um, I am paid less than what I deserve. Okay, if everybody needs a freaking raise, just raise your hand. <laughs> raise your hand. Don't don't go on a like a on a on a terrible spree of attitude. Like, just raise your damn hand, and I'll give you a raise. There you go. Now her stress should be going down. Yeah, there. Her stress is going down. At the same time, people are like requesting stuff from me. Hey, I, I, I hate that you don't have boiled sour cream. Look, my issues lay farther than your damn boiled sour, sour cream there, Luke. Um, place looks dirty. You know, I agree, Ross Geller. Uh, Sean Kennedy was rude. Hate to see that. Sean Ken Kennedy was rude. Hate to see that. But that's all right. We need to get like this bumped out now. Like prioritize this. And one way that I can actually help with this situation is start to break up these zones, right? They are big zones. They're very, very big zones. 
And so what I can do actually, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here. I'm going to go <clears throat> cleaning this. Uh, this is just a Victoria area back here. This is just a Brett area. Since Brett is going to be cooking anyways, I think it's a good idea for him to cook and clean in the back room. That's fine. He doesn't need to go out here. He can stay in the back. He can cook in the back and he, and he can clean at the same time. That gives Victoria a lot more like that eliminates that entire section for Victoria. She doesn't need to worry about that. Um, so maybe that will help out us and help out the restaurant and have them prioritize other things. Uh, so Brett just needs to stay back here. Victoria, she just needs to stay out here. This is going to take a day or so to, to kind of get into, but it's all right. Glenn. Um, Glenn also needs a pay raise. I mean, it seems like we're not doing good, but if you take a look at our money, we're actually doing just fine, which is weird. So we're going to give him a nice pay raise. There you go. Glenn's stress should be going down now. Tell H Haley to go rest. Okay, Haley is pissed off. I gave her a raise and told her to go rest, and she decides to throw her hands in the freaking... Oh, my God. Go rest, everybody. This is bad. Go rest. Like, I, I think some people are just getting... What do you want me to do? What the hell just happened? Close. We're closing early, folks. Get the hell out of here. Close now. Close now. Well then, um, yeah, so that's going to do it in today's episode. <laughs> we just crashed and freaking burned. Tune in to me next, tune in next episode where we'll see if we get the hell out of this situation. Should be a spicy one. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next one. Do take care. And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the classics.